Hello everybody, Kurt with Strange Beacons, W9SPY, and I'm coming to you with a Mailbag Monday, and today I received in the mail my brand new MFJ CW Keyer and Reader, and this thing is really pretty slick. I'm still trying to, you know, it's brand new, just got it, still trying to work out some of the uh, the ins and outs of this thing. It's not quite as user friendly as say working with a computer program where everything seems a little bit more straightforward. You have a lot of menu selections that you're it's a scroll through menu. You press over here on the mode section and then you have to scroll through you know numerous menus to get to what you're looking for and then you can change and make all these different settings with it. And I've got it hooked right now into the ICOM 7300 and I've got it tuned to the 10 meter band for uh, CW and let me just give you a quick uh, demonstration of a little bit of what this thing will do I've got um, some messages pre-programmed in here so I'm going to go ahead and just hit message one and this is set at uh, 10 words per minute right now so you can see the text coming in there and there's the signal coming on the uh, waterfall on the radio proper and just sending out a little test signal. And let's try one more. I've got a uh, message to programmed as well. And that would be just my basic CQ call. And um, the, another cool thing about this is you could actually set it up to become a Morse code beacon if you want. When you come in here to program these, um, there's message one, message two, message three, and message four here. You come in to program these with whatever uh, text it is that you want. You have an option at the end of the typed in message. You put in a space, then a slash, then an L. And that's similar to, you know, like C plus language when you're coding an Arduino or something. And slash L means a loop. And it will run continuously until you, you know, hit the escape button on your, on your keyboard. So that way you could, you know, set up a beacon if you wanted to. And that's probably something that I am going to do in the future. And if I do that, I'll let everybody know what frequency is so you can try to monitor it. And, you know, send me an email and get a QSL card in the mail. I'm going to see what I can do about getting some cool QSL cards as well. So anyway, uh, let me just do another quick example of this. So here's the keyboard down here and it's attached to the back of the reader on this and I'm going to just do a quick test but you can just type in T-E-S-T -E and real time it comes right up on the on the keyboard there. So we can do, I'll type in CQ CQ D E W nine S P Y And one more time I'll just show another little quick quick version of the message send here. back to the waterfall so anyway um, this is just you know a preliminary video to show off my brand new toy for my mailbag Monday and oh yeah this was this came a couple of days ago this is my new straight key and um, I've already hooked this into um, the ICOM proper and just tested it out. It works great. Um, it's got a pretty decent action. Not bad for, you know, 25 bucks. It's very stable on here. And I'm um, going to try to teach myself how to hand send Morse code. Um, that's going to be a little bit of a challenge, but it's one that I really feel like taking on. The biggest thing for me right now is I do know how to send some Morse code, but I can't copy it back. And so I don't feel good, you know, sending out Morse code and have someone answer me and just go silent on them. So um, the big thing will be to whether or not I can figure out how to 
use the um, the telegraph key in conjunction with this. Right now I've tried to hook them up and I can't get them to uh, work in tandem with each other. So that'll be the next thing is um, being able to copy Morse code over here coming through and then send it back with the hand key. Anyway, that's my new toys for the day. Uh, thanks for watching and take care.